Hello, it's Chip Hudson with Hudson Home Designs. Today we're going to go over a tip here. Uh, we're talking about title blocks, uh, setting up a template title block, and if you've ever wanted to have uh, square footages automatically calculate, here's a little simple uh, interactive schedule that you can create uh, using the default uh, zoning tool. Uh, as you can see, if I zoom in here, uh, you can tell that there's uh, these little bounding boxes here that are blank right now because I have nothing on the sheet. But uh, what these are, in fact, are um, uh, interactive schedules. So what I'll do is uh, go ahead and jump into the floor plan, and I will start creating um, some zones. So first of all, I'll click my zone tool, and I've set it up here for uh, you know my layer zones, and I'm going to name this zone uh, first floor and I want to put a one in front of that so way we can get it uh, first floor and I'm just going to add put an idea a number one on that and I'm just going to do a quick zone here and we got first floor and then of course the square footage is right there. So now I'm going to do a uh, second floor. And I'm just going to put a 2 there. And keep that, oh, let's see, keep that, put that to a 1. And go ahead and draw a box. And now I've got the second floor. And if I want to go to a third floor or let's say just say basement. Basement floor. Change that to one. And well I'll show you in a minute uh, why I'm doing that using a one. And I'll close this out. And there you go. I've got a basement floor. I've got a second floor and I've got a first floor. And uh, this is you know I'm just doing a typical uh, residential a commercial you can do it your own way uh, and we'll get into um, you know how I wild, wild card all this uh, now I'm going to do a um, <clears throat> uh, porch and I want to keep that too and there may be a back porch so I'll draw another one and I'll select it and change that back to two all right so now I've got two there uh, on the number, that's what I'm talking about. And I'm taking this two, it's a porch. Um, and, uh, that's, and then I can do, uh, say for instance, if I had a garage. So let's do a garage. And we'll name that two. And we're going to do a garage. All right, so now we've got a garage, we've got a, two porches. Uh, we've got a first floor, we've got a second floor, and we've got a basement floor. So now when I go back to my uh, sheets, I'll go up to the cover sheet here. And now when I zoom in here, I've got my first floor, I've got my second floor, i got my basement floor, I've got my total living, and now I've got garage, and I've got porch, uh, and then total roofed. So it's an easy way to... Um, have your title block uh, populate with the tabulation square footage. So if I go back and say go back to the here and just say for instance I'm, I'm, I edit these zones and and I never did update as you can see you can go here and update your zones. Well I'm not going to update the zones because just say for instance I forgot to you can tell they automatically update regardless if I up, uh, manually do an update for the zone. Now, how do I do this? Well, I will go down to the master layout here and now we'll open up the source view. So now when I've got my schedule opened up, if I go to schedule settings, I can go to the first criteria and I'm going to what I'm going to do is set it up for layer and this set the layer up is and then I select the layer in which I only want the zones to be calculated from which is 
which I've got in this case, zones.zon. And then I have an and, and that always happens when you add a criteria. And the next criteria is I'm going to put zone number, and that's that number that um, I was changing to 1 and 2. So being that we're doing, a, you know, for me, just doing a living uh, square footage, I want to group those, and I guess, you know, the best way to call it is a wild card, and I want to wild card it as 1. So, so if the zone number contains 1, then it will include it. So then under the field, fields, I go into the zone, and then I'm going to drag over zone name and measured area. And now I want the zone name um, to be sorted. And that's why you noticed when I put a 1 in front of first floor and 2 in front of the second floor and 3 in front of the basement. If I did not do that, then the basement would have been on top. So if I do it in number order, then it will also uh, populate as well uh, correctly. So now if I go into, so I, after I do a <coughs> footage for the living, then what I need to do is do a total area. And the total area of the living, I'll go back to here. And then all I'm doing now is doing the same thing I did before is a one, except this time, if you look under the uh, fields, I only have area because I don't, I don't want to display the same thing again. So when I hit OK, it's only going to have 975. Okay. Also make sure that you uh, show uh, uniform items as a single entry because if I don't do that, it's going to create a line of line items. So I want to total them all together and have them sitting right here. So the next line item is the footage remaining. Now the footage remaining is the same thing, zone name and measured area, just like the living, except this time we're going to do a wild card on the zone number 2. And what that's going to do is anything that is zone number 2, it's going to include in the remaining square footage. Now the last one is total roofed. And the total roof, the only difference between that is it's just it's just like set up for the living is because it only has the area it doesn't have the uh, zone name and uh, but here what I do in this uh, situation is under the zone number I'm going to do anything that contains one and then when you and then I'm going to put an or because it's going to be is anything that contains one or contains two we're going to include that. And be sure to put these brackets in here so that where we can close this statement. Because if you don't, if you've got anything that's out there that, that maybe have um, that doesn't have a number containing to it, it's going to continue to loop uh, that code and it may bring in some other footages that you don't. So close that out. That's a big make sure you do that. Put the bracket here and the bracket here. And uh, that will uh, then only total up the area of the total footage. So close that out and now I'm back here and all this is now uh, I put total living here as a, a free text and a total roofed here as a free text and there you have it. Very simple, easy to do uh, and you can have an interactive uh, footage tabulation. You can make it up however you want as long as you group them in the number system. It doesn't matter how you name it. Just remember uh, when you have one, you group everything in the square footages to that one and you group everything in the square footages to two and so on and so forth and you can have as many as you want and then create your totals however you like to total them out. So there you go. So I hope it helps, and I uh, look forward to hearing from you soon, and take care. Bye.